Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a sculpting video and I'm going to go through the process of how I sculpted this proboscis monkey head. Um, I use Sculpey Original for this, the polymer clay for this head. I usually not use um, Sculpey Original anyway or if I'm doing a casting I usually use monster clay and then cast it in resin. So, but, but for this one I'm using, um, yeah, a Sculpey Original. It is the softer of the Sculpeys. Um, you can get Sculpey uh, Super Sculpey, which is the beige colored one, and Sculpey Firm, which is the gray. So, starting off with some eyes. So I'm creating these glass eyes um, and I'm going to be hand painting them. So if you look at proboscis monkey eyes, they're sort of um, like a gorilla or chimp eyes where they have the black around the, um, the white bit of their eyes, sort of black. So I went ahead and painted that bit black and then filled in the rest with acrylic paints and let it dry. It, when that's drying, um, I can start working on the head. So I, for this one, I'm using a aluminium ball um, for core. So that way it um, makes the sculpt a lot lighter and you use less uh, material. Uh, and also if the polymer clay is too thick, it generally doesn't um, cure, as, it doesn't cure properly. So you want to make it as thin as possible, um, but not too thin so it breaks, but a nice uh, happy medium thickness so it cures in the oven and what I'm doing is I'm just firstly wrapping all of the polymer clay around that ball first and then I'll start shaping the shape of the face and I'm working on the lower part of the jaw to begin with um, <clears throat> because uh, you need to I, for the proboscis monkey I have to put a nose a really long nose over the top of it so I started off with the lower with the lower jaw and the mouth area and then I can add the nose on top of it and then I'll start working on the eyes and then refining everything So when I'm sculpting things, I usually have reference images on my computer next to me and that's uh, different the face at different angles um, so I can get an entire view of what the face will look like and I can reference my sculpture to the size as well and make sure the proportions are correct. So I'll probably let the rest of this video play out. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, so um, it, go, it, it shows the whole process of how I sculpted things and I usually make things a little bit bigger um, but, and then I can sort of refine it a bit more and get all the, char the characteristics right. Um, and you can see this nose is just a way too big for the head to begin with, but I start refining that whole process with um, little hook tools and rake tools to make sure that it all looks okay. Um, for this doll, I didn't sculpt the head exactly to size um, because I sculpt things normally a little bit smaller so I can uh, style the rest of it with the faux fur that I apply to the face. So I always style thing, uh, sculpt things smaller so I can style it and it really brings things to, to character and brings it to life when you can uh, style that faux fur on things. So um, just have, it, have a go at making smaller things. Um, if you're obviously making a sculpture, it needs to be to scale, but like I said, imagine if you're like sculpting the skull of the creature and then you're adding the skin on top of it. So you want to make things a little bit smaller so it looks proportionate and um, you can style things the way a real animal is styled. So um, yeah, that's my only bit of advice for this video, but I'll let it play out and uh, you can see, watch how I finish this uh, proboscis monkey. This will be for sale. Um, it'll go on my Patreon first and then uh, it'll be for sale in my shop when I finish it. So keep an eye out, um, head over to my Patreon if you want early access to all of my work uh, so you don't miss out on things and have a chance before everyone else. But thanks for watching. Thanks for my patrons for supporting me. I really appreciate it. We're almost at 25. Uh, patron followers or supporters so I can give away that doll uh, when we reach that milestone but yes link is in the description box along with my Instagram Facebook creatures of Nat and uh, also on TikTok as well and uh, my shop creatures and I'll catch you in the next one bye
Thank you.